Hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel. So Apple has announced the iPhone 12. Uh, this is huge because it marks the entrance of uh, Apple and the iPhone into uh, the future. Namely, uh, they now have 5G across the board on the iPhone 12. And uh, that makes the iPhone ready for all the wonderful things that uh, 5G promises in the near future. Uh, those who live in some urban areas would already be experiencing uh, 5G and that is awesome. It gives a uh, very fast download speeds, fast upload speeds, and uh, it's just the next step, next logical step into uh, the Internet of Things. Also, the big things uh, that came with this um, launch would be the new cameras on the iPhone 12, uh, which now have optical image stabilization on the sensor, not on the lenses. And then uh, for the Pro Max, um, you have uh, the LiDAR, which allows like a 3D scanning of objects. Like you could scan your room and uh, have uh, augmented reality uh, apps work with uh, your phone. And then um, the big shift that also occurred during this release is that there is no longer a power supply uh, that comes with the phone. You do, however, have a connector which you can use with your existing uh, USB-C or USB uh, power supply. Uh, they also introduced a new uh, modular way of, uh, of uh, accessories that are built around the iPhone, which is called, is it, uh, it's Mag something, let me see here, I can't get the name right now. Uh, but basically, it's a bunch of accessories uh, that have magnets on them, and they integrate uh, seamlessly with uh, your, around your iPhone. It could be... Um, credit card holders and then uh, or a charger so the magnets allow your charger to be positioned right where uh, it should be for your phone to charge quickly and i think uh, charging is uh, right now is at 15 watts for these phones many many exciting features uh, low light performance has increased so you will be able to take some very stunning photographs in low light situations. And then um, the Pro Max has an even larger screen. I believe it's about uh, six inches and uh, 6.8 inches wide. So that's uh, diagonally, that's really a huge improvement, slightly bigger than the current iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, the phones are available for pre-order starting October 16th for most of the line. And then the Pro Max will be available for pre-order on the November 16th, 2020. So Apple actually held a keynote event, which was a virtual event. People participated from around the world. Um, this also uh, introduces, uh, during this event, they also introduced their A14 Bionic chip. And uh, I believe this uses a 5 nanometer uh, architecture, which packs billions and billions of uh, transistors onto that little chip. So immediate consequence, you have uh, power consumption, which goes down. And then you have uh, many more cores which uh, have been put on that chip. And uh, most of those are actually for machine learning. So exciting few years coming up with all these, uh, 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 with all these uh, technology being packed into the phones, especially the hardware. So software will likely lag a little bit, uh, but now that the hardware is there, uh, the software uh, developers will likely uh, speed up their development efforts. All right. Uh, so the phone also, they say it has a ceramic shield uh, construction for the glass, which gives it a better drop uh, performance. So it's, they say it's about four times stronger. 
prices uh, of the current iPhone line have dropped significantly, whereas uh, the new iPhone 12s pretty much uh, get into line where the previous uh, iPhone 11s were, you know, like almost a one-to-one -one replacement for the, the corresponding sizes. However, um, I should say for the memory, there's a big change. Uh, the memory you have, um, it starts out at 128 gigabytes, not 64 gigabytes, like for the iPhone uh, 11. So iPhone 12 starts out at 128 uh, gigabytes. And then oh, you have four color options, uh, which is quite exciting. For the regular iPhone 12, there's an additional color, which is uh, red. I can see that being <laughs> very popular. And then you have, I think, uh, this uh, uh, black, silver, blue. So it's quite interesting colors. And um, also, it's quite uh, water resistant, uh, this phone. Water and dust resistant. Uh, the exact specs, uh, I, I will give it to you here in a short while. So all in all, uh, it's it's a, it's a good day for for uh, people who are on the you know iOS platform. Uh, this is a huge huge uh, leap, uh, major difference. If it were just that they did the five G improvement, uh, it wouldn't totally justify uh, transitioning from the iPhone eleven to the iPhone twelve. But uh, if you add the 5G integration, uh, the fact that they have the a newer chip optimized for iOS 4, 14, uh, the A14 uh, chip, and then you also add the improved camera on the Pro Max, uh, on the Pro and Pro Max uh, iPhone 12s, that could actually push a few people uh, to switch over to the iPhone 12, especially as uh, the camera performance has been improved. Uh, they also talk about uh, Dolby. I didn't know Dolby also did vision. Uh, so there's a Dolby function to the cameras um, and then also improved sound output also, I think by Dolby, Dolby Atmos. So those are some of the major things uh, to, to remember. Uh, the screen also has moved to the Super Retina XDR display for all the phones, even the base entry level uh, model for the iPhone 12. So no LED, L LCDs anymore. <laughs> and uh, that should, you know, pretty much convince a few people after you've looked at the Super Retina uh, screens. They're just such a huge improvement, especially for uh, consuming uh, YouTube. Uh, social media, Hulu, Netflix, you know, most people nowadays, they don't sit behind a TV anymore. They consume uh, social media content on their phones. So that's uh, just a little bit of the gist of uh, what's uh, going on with uh, the iPhone 12. Um, it's really, really great. It's a great day for those on the, on the iOS ecosystem. And uh, we can't wait until uh, we start seeing the first reviews, hands-on reviews uh, trickle in. Um, if I were to imp if I were to order one of these phones, I would definitely go for the uh, Pro Max. Reason being that it uh, the larger the screen size, the better. Uh, you have more real estate for reading; it makes it easier. And also. Uh, I just find it uh, that it's uh, almost like you have something between an iPad, a laptop, and a tiny regular phone. So uh, the larger ones are just more convenient for me because uh, they tend to be almost like a tablet and bridge that gap. Um, unfortunately, storage is still maxed out at 512 uh, gigabytes. Uh, I was thinking at this point, either they would offer an uh, external storage so solution, which apparently they do not. They prefer you store uh, your photographs in iCloud. And um, also, 
uh, it, you also have the dual SIM. So it takes the nano SIM. It doesn't take the micro uh, SIM. Uh, it takes the nano SIM, and then you also have the electronic SIM, the eSIM, uh, that work with these phones. So uh, on the screen, I'm just passing a few uh, bits of details. You can see the weight of the various uh, iPhone 12s and the size of the screen. So I don't know how soon this will be available, uh, like the accessories, uh, like the MagSafe accessories. That's what it's called, MagSafe. So MagSafe, it remains to be seen exactly how that works. Uh, what they demonstrated was like a wallet, a credit card holder that they attached kind of uh, to the back of an uh, iPhone 12. And they said it actually works with, uh, with uh, it would work even if you're charging the phone. So you don't actually uh, need to take the wallet off or anything. You just put it there and add up, add up uh, the accessories. So that's to be seen how it actually works in real life. Uh, for the apps, of course, you have the usual apps uh, like before. You have Apple TV, Apple TV Remote. Um, most of the apps you have on iOS 13, you have them on uh, on on the new i on the new iPhone 12s. And also, they released some information about uh, corporate responsibility. You could see that they use a lot of uh, recycled materials. And whenever they had to do uh, use any kind of wood product, they would use it from uh, responsibly managed uh, forest areas. Uh, a good, about I think more than 70% of the tin used on the new iPhone is recycled. Uh, you also have the solder material, which is uh, also recycled to a very high extent. So you can see there the difference in size. And uh, for each person, you know, it just depends on what you use your iPhone for. Uh, for me, it's basically my primary go-to uh, working tool when I'm creating online content. Uh, it's just so much more easier to manage your workflow when you have a uh, you have all of uh, your images, your videos in uh, in the phone. Whereas if I had to use my DSLR, then I will have to transfer the images to the computer first and then from there to the phone. It's just so, so much more um, complicated. And uh, the form factor is still the same. You have the buttons which you have on the iPhone 11, replicated on the iPhone 12, pretty much in the same areas. So uh, you won't need to learn any new hacks or, <laughs> or uh, new tricks. The buttons are all pretty much in the same uh, spots. So uh, just to recap, the new iPhone uh, 12 has been released, available for, for pre-order from October 16th, and for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, available for pre-order from November 20, uh, 16th, 2020. Big improvements, uh, availability of uh, 5G, you know, all the two different flavors of 5G, uh, millimeter 5G and the other type. And then uh, you have improved cameras with optical image stabilization on the sensor. And uh, also you have uh, new different colors with uh, the A14 Bionic chip, which uses a uh, five nanometer um, architecture. 
So if you have anything to retain, those are the three major things uh, to retain. Lowest uh, memory size you can get would be 128 gigabytes, and it goes from there up to 512. Uh, I would have loved to see a one terabyte option, but for the moment, that is not happening. Thanks for watching, and I will give you guys an update once we learn a little bit more about the iPhone 12. Bye.